Last week on The Bachelor, both John Locke and Thomas Hobbs received a rose. Aspen English, however, did not, and things turned violent. Now, only two contestants remain. John Locke. Hi, I'm John Locke, and I was born in 1632. And Thomas Hobbs. Hello, I'm Thomas Hobbs, and I was born in 1588. Wow, you're old. <laughs> As we near our final rose ceremony, Locke and Hobbs prepare for their double date with Stephen to see who can win his heart once and for all. Today is my last date with Steven before the rose ceremony, and I'm kind of disappointed that I have to kind of share that time with Hobbs, but I know that Hobbs isn't here for the right reasons, and I just hope that Steven sees that. I'm so excited for this date with Steven, as long as Locke doesn't get in the way. So I know these double dates are a little awkward, but I just want to get this time and opportunity to get to know you better. So, one of the questions I have is, what are your political beliefs? I'm glad you asked, because I just love government. I hope that was sarcasm. No, government is the best thing that's ever happened to civilization. I wish we could have a monarchy. Humans are selfish and cruel. The only way to keep humanity in check is to have a ruler to control the people. You sound suspiciously like a liberal. Without government, life would be solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. short. Well, I completely disagree. I believe that humans are born with three natural rights, life, liberty, and property. It's part of the social contract for men to be born free, and he is everywhere in chains. That makes sense. I believe that government is a very useful and necessary tool, <clears throat> but its function should be only to protect those three natural rights. If they aren't doing their job, then I feel we have the right to rebel. That's utterly ridiculous. <laughs> Fight the power. Well, this has been a very insightful picnic today here in this great lush forest area. I'll have to see you guys tonight at the rose ceremony. I believe that I'm going to be the one going home with the rose tonight because Stephen and I share a lot of the same political views in addition to true love. I don't care what John Locke says, my political views are right and everyone else's are just wrong. How could Stephen pick her over me? We were made to be together. Tonight is the final rose ceremony and Stephen has a surprise for everyone. He has decided to go undergo major cosmetic surgery. Everyone say hello to the new and improved Stephen Robinson. After recovering from his surgery, Stephen is ready to choose his bride. I've thought really hard about this, but at the end of the day, I disagree with one of your fundamental beliefs. So, John Locke, will you take this rose? I accept. All right, folks, that concludes this season of The Bachelor. Let's wish our new couple a happy congratulations, and we'll see you next season on The Bachelor. I didn't see the light until I was already made. Oh no! It was not a recording! Lovely. Wait, do we walk? Yeah. Okay, okay, I didn't know if we were starting Why am here. I holding this? A flower for you.
Without government, life would be solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. short. You're brutish and short. Stephen Robinson? But I feel pretty good, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> how do you see playing Stephen Robinson? How do you, hey, how do you feel about playing a much taller, handsomer version of Stephen oh. Robinson is what she meant. Oh. Get it, Stephen. <laughs>